Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. We are currently in the Sol system, in deep orbit around Phobos. As to why, I'll explain momentarily. Hmm, that's strange. According to your file, you've encountered them before. On Vectera, specifically. They were the pirates that attacked your mining outpost. I'm surprised you don't remember. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. If I didn't have confidence in your abilities, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the Vigilance, and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd, and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place. That's why I expect you to constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles, rather than blowing holes in them. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this, so let me simplify this for you. 
If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. Good luck. <laughs> All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No, it's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. Then you'll understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Anyway, before I let you go, there's just one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them in the Vigilance's brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. <sighs> That's a fine point, but in my defense, I was under orders to make sure we weren't pulling some kind of psycho into the mix. And honestly, there are far bigger things at stake than my personal feelings towards the Crimson Fleet. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? We'll be here if you need us. Uh -huh. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Is there anything else I can answer before you proceed to the next phase of your mission? Dismissed. Excuse me. Howdy.
mate. You should see some of the ships we get standing here. Like their owners, for decorating their ships with heat bleach nests would be a nice touch. Gotta be honest, I'm a little surprised every time this ship makes it back in one piece. Better days, isn't it? Here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Sure, how about it? I'm sure you can find something you like.
Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Life is treating good to see you again. Can I get you something? Sure thing. What can I get you? Catch you later. Take a look. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. It's amazing what passes as art nowadays. It's cliche, but it's true. Everything has a price. And whatever it may be, I can afford it. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So. What'll it be? Perhaps, but I'm quite confident in my business, and I refuse to be intimidated. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. Ah, 
yes, I've been expecting you. Here's your package. And don't worry, I've already corrected the ownership record for you. Nothing. Nothing at all. Thanks for your business. Well, that depends. If you have a ship and are willing to haul cargo, then we've got some work. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be more specific. We frequently post cargo running jobs up on the mission boards around town. Check them out. I've heard our jobs pay well, and on the off chance that's not what you're looking for, well, I can't really help you then. Be my guest. If you need anything else, you know. Where to find us. The Trade Authority has access to good... You won't find a better selection or more reasonable prices anywhere. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. Selling art is a bit of an art itself, you know. Shh! Are you crazy? Keep your damn voice down. 
Curtis. No, Amoli, I am Gerhard. We've been partners for ten years. Do you need a visit? Yes, yes. Just hand it over. Hilarious. You've held up your end of the bargain. Our transaction is complete, so I'll be on my way. Take care and let's not talk about this again. That's of no concern to you. I told you at the end of our business that we will not speak about it. Do not mention my work again. Back to it then. So much to see, for last month. so much to learn. What? Life is beautiful really? in that way. Wasn't that included yes. in the transfer from last week? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Uh, why, to be frank, I don't do much. Not anymore, at least. And that suits me just fine. Yes! I now live to collect artifacts from Earth. You see, every artifact tells a story. Even spoons and forks, which most take for granted. People laugh at me when they see I collect old earth spoons. But think about it, friend. Spoons change the course of history. Can you imagine life without them? Ah, the usual things, I suppose. Fame, fortune, power. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. I've actually been fortunate to call New Atlantis home for many years. For a collector like myself, I do believe there's no better place in all the settled systems. I've been charmed to make the acquaintance of many fellow old Earth enthusiasts here in New Atlantis. And that is why I continue to stay. <laughs> 